Hello everyone, this is the Buture JR400 cordless vacuum cleaner. It is one of the most sold cordless vacuum cleaners on Amazon these days. In this video, we're gonna open it up and then I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. I'm gonna talk about the specifications very quickly and I'm gonna show you also its control panel and then we're gonna be testing it. So let's start by unboxing it. You have on the top here the instructions on how to assemble it. We're gonna assemble it together. So this is everything we get in the box, the user manual, this is to hang it on the wall, this is the main brush, the main unit, two filters, a cleaning tool, this is the neck, and these are cleaning extensions, this is the battery and the power adapter. Let me show you now how to clean it, I'm gonna start with the main brush, turn it upside down, you have a lever here, pull it towards you, and you have this small plastic here, remove it. And then this is the main brush, it can be removed easily now. And now you can clean it, you can rinse it if you want to. Make sure to make it dry thoroughly before you're putting it back if you rinse it. And you can use this small cleaning tool to remove this is to remove the hair. So it will cut the hair here. Careful, there's a cutter inside. And this is a brush also to clean it. And to put it back, slide it in. And notice at this end, it has like two keys. Make sure that they are horizontal like this. And then push it back in. And now you have this latch here, put it in the hole and then push it back in. And this is how you clean the main brush. Let me show you now how to clean the main unit. The first thing you can do with it to clean it is to remove all of this here. You have this lever here, just push it down and then pull it out and it can be removed like this. So this is the filter to clean it, just pull it out like this and you can clean it. And you can also rinse it. If you rinse it, leave it 24 hours to dry. So we can reuse this small brush and these are the extra filters that you get. So you get two extra filters and then you put the filter back on like this. And then to empty the container, just push this like this and then you can empty it like this. So this is a simple cleaning if you just want to empty the container. Now, if you want to go a step further also, you can remove the filter as I showed you and you can remove also this one here so turn it counterclockwise and then pull it out and then also you can clean it and you can rinse it to put it back in put it in like this and then turn it clockwise and it locks in place now you can close it like this and put the filter back on and then to put this back in the main unit you have this latch here it should go into the opening that is here so make sure to align it like this and then simply push it back in gently. Let me show you now how to assemble it. So this is the neck and this is the main unit. The first thing we need to do is to put the neck in the main unit. So push it like this and then push it gently until it clicks in place. And for the neck, it is extensible also. To extend it, just push this button like this, extend it, and then it clicks in place. And now to install the main brush, on the neck also align it like this and then push it gently until it clicks in place so now it is installed let me show you now how to install the battery so turn the main unit like this and you see these contacts and the battery has contacts also here and it has also a latch so align the latch here with the opening and then push it down gently what I want to show you now is how to install the different brush heads. So first we need to remove the neck like this. And then for instance, if you want to install this brush head, just push it in like this. And to remove it, you just remove it like this. And of course, it's the same for the second one. It can be installed like this too. I also wanted to mention that if you want to put it on the wall, this is a cradle that you put on the wall like this. So it goes like this on the wall and this one goes in it like this. And this is how you hold it on the wall. Let me show you the control panel of the unit now. So when you turn it on, it will show you the battery level and it will show you the suction power. So this here is the suction power. If you want to increase the power, you can go gradually like this. So it is a touch screen. And then you can go back like this. And you see these two LEDs here. These are warning LEDs in case you have something stuck in the neck or if there is another problem in the main unit. 
Let me talk now about the specifications of this cordless vacuum cleaner from Buture. So it has a 1.5 liter tank capacity. It has a five stage filtration system, a battery that has seven cells of 2200 milliampere hour each, and it can last up to 55 minutes if you put it on the lowest setting, and it can last up to 15 minutes if you put it on the highest settings. You need about four hours, five hours to fully charge the battery and it has a suction power of 38 kilopascal and a motor of 450 watts. So now let's go and test it. Now I want to demonstrate to you the suction power of this cordless vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to turn it on on the lowest setting. So this is the lowest setting. I'm going to try to remove some of these master seeds with the lowest setting to see if it does a good job. And you see that even on the lowest setting, it removed like almost 99.9% .9 of the mustard seeds. So I'm going to put it on the medium setting now. This is the medium setting. And it does a very good job cleaning everything. So now let's put it on the highest setting. So everything was clean thoroughly and not one grain of mustard remained on the floor. And frankly also the noise that it makes is not very strong and it is really very good. You see also the lights on the front of it. So this also can lead the way in case you're cleaning somewhere that is not lit. So at the end I'm gonna say that I really like this vacuum and I highly recommend it. If you want to check it out, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. In case you like this video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm Eloy from Stuff Around the House. See you in the next video.